idea. What are we doing here? I thought we were just getting groceries. I'm here because I miss your grandfather, and I want to light a candle and pray for him a little. I'm ready. Huh. Teresa, put your mask on. I'm in the house of the Lord. If he wants me to wear it, let him tell me. There's a sign that says it back there. Yeah, but did Jesus hang them? Put your mask back on, Okay, right. you have right. some respect. Jesus. Don't you light candles at home? I haven't seen you leave your house in ages. Well, now that I'm fully vaccinated, with both shots, I can attend mass. And hopefully, if we're here long enough, the horns on your head will fall off. Hey. Hey. Now, go sit up there. Oh my God, <laughs> what now? The yeah, Everett that mentioned the vaccine, and I'm coming across this news that the second dose can alter your DNA or make women infertile. Okay, that's a myth. And if Thea was in here, I'd leave you here and drive off for speaking nonsense. Where did you see this? Facebook. Look, this is why I'm not getting the vaccine, all right? Millions of people have already gotten the vaccine, which means I'm safe. They can't spread it to me. And I already had COVID, which means I'm immune. Can't get it again. Think about it. What? No, the only thing that means is that the people that got both doses of vaccines are protected and you're not. You might have some immunity to the type of variant of COVID that you had, but that does not mean you're protected from all other variants. This thing that you saw, was it even from a reliable source? It was like one of those picture and text things, you know, like a flyer. Are you kidding me? This wasn't even from a reliable news source. Come on, anyone can make that up and post it. That's how misinformation gets shared. Look, all I'm saying is I don't want the vaccine to affect me or my ability to get pregnant. What? You and Guillermo are trying to have kids? Hell no. Uh, no, sorry, Lord. No, we're not. But think about it. This vaccine was developed way too quickly. Anything can happen. Teresa, look. I used to think like you. Teresa, I really did. But then I did my research. Okay, genius, enlighten me. Okay, look, the idea that the vaccine was quickly developed and it makes women infertile are rumors. Scientists have been working on a vaccine for over 20 years in preparation for something like this. So when that pandemic hit, they already had all the basic elements for a vaccine. They just had to tailor it to COVID-19. This is why you should get your facts from an expert source and not from a Teresa Cualquiera who believes everything she sees on Facebook and WhatsApp. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Speaking of pregnancy, Raquel just announced hers. Yeah, I saw that. Oh my God, dude, like two weeks ago, I saw her post a picture after she got the second dose. Good for her. Good for the pregnancy or the vaccine? Both. Why the vaccine? It can affect her or the baby. Teresa, have you seriously not been listening to anything I've been saying? The vaccine is safe. She is keeping herself and the baby safe. <sighs> hey, you good? Yeah, it's just, Tia mentioned Abuelito and it made me think of my Abuelo on my dad's side. He died a year ago from COVID. He used to bring me here when I was younger. You know, the crazy part is sometimes I feel like he's still here. 
and it makes me cherish the moments I do have with Abuela. You know, I, I haven't seen Abuelita since this whole thing started. The Averta won't let anyone near her unless they're fully vaccinated. That's the reason for getting fully vaccinated with both doses. So we can get back to spending time with our loved ones and keeping them safe. Think about it. The longer you wait to get vaccinated, the less time you have to spend with her. I'm gonna go light a candle for Abuelito. Hey, I know I gave you a lot of information back there, but if I can just say one last thing, is that there's a lot of locations nearby that offer the vaccine, including pharmacies, grocery stores, and tomorrow there's gonna be a mobile van set up at the location we were just at. Mobile vans? Yeah, there are clinical vans that set up at churches and other community locations to be more accessible to the people. And you don't need an appointment, and to get the vaccine is free. We can literally go right now. Can you close that for me, please? Yeah. Thanks. So those mobile vans, are they kind of like those blood drive vans? Yeah, that's exactly what they're like, and they're free. Huh. Actually, never knew that. Mama, um, leave the bags at the door. I have to wipe them down before I put them away. And here? So you can buy yourself something. Oh. No, Thea, it's OK. Thank Take you. it. Thea, really. Gracias. God bless the both of you for helping me today. Abuela! Come keep me at home. Oh, I want to more than anything, but I haven't been vaccinated. Why not? Come on, vamos a sentarnos. The choice is yours. Yeah, come on. Yeah.